Hello. Welcome back. Hi. Welcome back to the Cheshire cast. And yes, I have a no makeup on because we are doing a character look. So, I'm in this awesome pink dress here that my mom actually made when I was in high school. I wore this very Marie Antoinette dress to a winter formal. So that's a little fun fact about me. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be doing a Marie Antoinette style book or from my new favorite show, Harlots. So this is the look that we're kind of going for right here. We might be going for a Charlotte, who knows, um, or something similar to the character of Charlotte. She was one of my favorites in the Harlots show. So here we go. Let's become a Harlot. I put on the Too Faced lip plumper. It burns a little bit, but I overdid it and now I have this kind of extra redness, but that'll go away soon. So let's get started and become, this is falling down, but let's become a harlot. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the primer and foundation because um, it's what we should do first, um, just to protect my skin a little bit. Where did my primer go? I feel like I always have this problem. That's thing, right here. Yeah. Let's see if this Because it's right here, kind of available. So I've already moisturized my face, and this is a fun character look if you want to make this look last all night. I do recommend primers and setting sprays that go well with the foundation that you pick. I'm using a foundation first, and then I'm going to on top of it, so. so I'm gonna go in with this Studio Fix Photo Finish. And no, I'm not gonna be wearing this look all day. Because I'm just not. Okay, so I'm gonna just rub that primer on. And as you all know, your primers should work well with your foundation. Um, like if it's silicone, you should have a silicone foundation. If it's water-based, you should have a water-based foundation. Uh, I don't know exactly all of the combos because honestly, you know, it depends on what you use. And I guess if you have questions about that, Put a comment and I will try and answer that the best that I can for your specific foundation. Okay, hmm. primer is on. I'm gonna go in with this Kat Von D foundation just because I got it. It's way super light. I got the wrong shade, um, but it's not my normal foundation that I use, so I never really got another one to replace it. Not saying that it's bad but I just found a different foundation that worked better for my dry skin. Just have some hair in that girl. Mm. Okay, here we go. And yes, there will be an awesome wig because we love it. And even though they really just kind of made their faces white, I'm gonna do this modern because it bugs me having a white neck. They had a pretty just like white face. So I'm going to put foundation all over. But in the end, I will probably just put the white powder on instead of doing the white powder all over my neck. Ooh, I look I'm so good. And they have in the Harlot TV show, they have um pretty modern eyebrows. Um, so, you know, I'm probably just gonna leave my eyebrows the way that they are. 
we're not gonna cover them up or anything and just because I think that they'll be fine with the shape that they're in. So I know you can't really see as as white as it is. It's pretty white. The photos will be better, of course. You, but I would love to have lived in this era just because of all of the dresses and you know the balls and just, it just seems so much more of like a social culture than what we have now I mean now everything's online and nobody actually sees each other in person but nobody sees each other anymore these days so I'm gonna fill in my brows I really never have my brushes out that I need to have out that's just a spoolie Okay. Well, I guess that this one will have to do. And okay, so this is completely like frozen. My makeup room is so cold, it's down in my basement. But yes, it's a wee bit chilly, so I'm gonna go in with this brown, it's called Brownie Points, um, it's with a company I used to be in called Lime Life, and I'm just going to touch up my brows. Not like this brush that I picked, but oh well. The show must go on. there put on some brows okay so now we're gonna go in with the white face paint so it's pretty um, it's pretty simple look I mean there's not really a whole lot to it I mean they didn't have a lot of products and stuff back then. I'm just using this dead white face powder I got at the Spirit Halloween store. Just to make me look even lighter. I'm using a lighter foundation really helped because if you're just using this you would have to use a ton of powder and that would not be fun it would take way too long hope you all can see the difference I think you can. Ooh, hello. There we go. They had those out. They had those out. Them lovely ladies. Okay. So now it's pretty much just lips and blush and simple eye makeup. Easy peasy. 
So I'm gonna use this shadow eyeshadow palette that I have here. Another Lion Life palette. And I'm gonna use these two light pinks over here. I don't remember their names, but they're gonna be perfect. Cause we're gonna just go all pink. So I'm gonna brush this up into the brow. It's a very light pink shade. Just gonna blow it all out all over. There's like a transition. So they didn't really wear any liner on their bottom lids. It was mainly just like the tops. So we're not gonna put anything below here. Okay. There's that shade. Now I'm gonna go in with this little bit deeper pink here. I'll put all of the names of the products that I used down below. I'm just blowing that out in the crease just to give it some definition and depth. It's a different shade transition. This is probably one of the easiest character looks. The hardest part is Probably the dress. Alrighty. So now I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's a blush. It's blush five from the Limelight, Limelight brand. brush I'm just gonna pop that on top of the other two just on the lid and if you want this to be very very bright you can use like a setting spray to make it really pop Get wet. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna take that same shade of blush and smile. And we're just gonna do it on the apples. Get it round. They're very much round. Round cheeks. Just using my finger to feel where the apples are. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the Stilla, this color Ballet Baby. Cause it's just so pretty and I can't help it. Just to give it some glitter. Thank you. 
gorgeous. this one this is very smooth very very highlight like and it's pink so it goes perfect with my pink all right all right okay so now we're gonna do some lips and I'm gonna do them pretty hot pink because that is what I think this looks a lot like. So we're gonna go in with this hot pink liner, Lime Life number three. Now I'm going to go in with this hot pink lip color. Ooh, look how pretty. Um, it's called I think Cupcake Still. Again, My Life by Alco. I just have a lot of their stuff because like I said, I was in the company and I still like it. Want to change something that works? Okay, so now I'm gonna put on some liner and lashes, um, mascara. They didn't really do lashes, but since we're going modern, we're doing it. hard for me not to do like a full-blown bold ween liner but we're gonna do it we're gonna do it we're gonna try to just keep it simple simple but modern
to do on this stuff. This, you put on a coat, let it dry, put on another coat, let it dry, then you pop on your lashes. Easy peasy. Should be rounder. We'll see. We'll see. We might need to fix it with some concealer. We'll see. Okay, so here they are the magnetic eyeliner lashes. These are called selfie. I did have to trim them because they were so long, but they are really gorgeous. It has anchors. So you can secure them or not use the lash glue, whichever. These are easy, easy peasy, I love them. That's all you do. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I forgot. That would have looked weird. Mascara, you gotta have mascara. Oh, that would look, guys, guys, that would have, whoa. My lashes are like, Pretty white colored right now because of that powder. So this is the Lim Life Mascara too. It's fiber mascara. As I said, I really don't get anything from talking about their products. I just like them. They're professional. They are the like sister, well daughter company of Alcone. Oop, down the hill. That felt good. That felt so good, guys. I say guys a lot of the time. That felt so fantastic. They did have like lower lashes though. Sorry about this. <laughs> okay, back to the lash. Make 
sure that it's on. You smush it down so it stays on. Lashes and makeup on. I like really that's like really heavy. go there we go really is easier than that but I think I was just making it more difficult gonna put on some bling bling kinda wish my nails were pink now look how pretty this is You, of course, could set this, but I'm not going to because honestly, I'm gonna be going to bed. I'm gonna be going to bed after this. So, here we go. Here comes the wig. because I haven't worn it yet. So we wanna make it really pretty. Really, really pretty. And I might fix this blush though with like just like a rounded brush. Gorgeous. Simply gorgeous. Some kind of, I don't know. Yep, that's weird. So beautiful, guys. Beauty mark. So, they would either put a dot or a heart. Uh, for me, I'm going to use my cute little teacups because I love them. And sometimes they have hair. I'm going to put mine up here where I usually put it. It's like my signature look. Because we're at the tea party. What, what is my name? My name is Chantilly. Chantilly Cheshire. I am Shan Chantilly Cheshire. Maybe I can say it in a British accent. Hello. My name is 
Chantilly, Chantilly, Cheshire. 